Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're taking a look at the new Sisley Lafito Rouge lipsticks. So there are three new limited edition shades with the special red and gold packaging. Your traditional Sisley lipsticks are black and gold. So these are limited edition. There are three new shades. They're available at a variety of retailers and these are all in the satin finish. So first let's start with how they come packaged. So the difference, the only difference in the box is we have a gold top here, whereas I believe it's just a, a plain red top on the regular packaging. And it will say limited edition on here. So this one here is shade 200. These are made in Italy. When you open it up, you have your red case. So it comes with a red velour case. We've got our lipstick here and all of your information's down at the bottom. So this one here is shade 200 Rose Zanzibar. This is what's on my lips right now. Let's go ahead and move into arm swatches. And you know what? We're actually going to start with this one, even though it is the highest numerically. So this here is 200. And notice the shape of your Sisley lipstick bullet. So it has this really angular shape here to help you, you know, essentially use the bullet to line your lips as well. So looking at 200 Rose Zanzibar, you can see this is a neutral mid-tone rose. It's a really, really beautiful true rose with, you know, it's definitely got opacity to it. And I would say it's about a medium to deeper rose shade. Let's move on to our next shade. This is number 44. Rouge Hollywood, and it's a really beautiful red shade. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. I actually, I really like all three of the shades, but I would have to say that these two are my favorite. So this is 44 Rouge Hollywood, and this is gonna be a neutral red with just the slightest touch of a fiery orange in there. So it's not as warm toned as an orangey red, but there is a faint hint of that that you can see in the undertone here. And it's just a really beautiful neutral red shade. Then we have 16 Beige Beijing. And from the name, I was expecting something to be just like a little bit lighter, more neutral. This is really more of a brick shade. It's really a brick brown with some red in it. So it's more of a brownish red kind of color, more brown than red, but you definitely have a touch of that red in there. And this one again is going to be pretty neutral, but it does have, it has a touch of warmth to it just to, you know, it, it's just really beautiful. So let's take a look at the lip swatches while we talk about product details. So the Sisley Lafito Rouge lipsticks are a long lasting hydrating satin formula. I think they are one of the best satin formulas on the market. They are actually one of my all time favorite lipstick formulas. Uh, you know, I actually would love to have more of these shades, but they're color range for the most part, you know, your color, you're, you're not looking at a lot of soft neutrals. You're looking at more like medium tone, deeper shades. Uh, so I don't have a ton of these lipsticks, even though they are an absolute favorite formula. They have 3.4 grams of product. They're made in Italy. There is no suggested ex expiration date upon opening. And I have to say, I just think these are really great. Now, one of the reasons I really like these particular satin lipsticks is they are very comfortable on the lips. They're not drying and they last a little bit longer than your average satin lipstick. So instead of getting two to four hours of wear, this is closer to four to six hours. And since a lot of the shades, you know, run a bit deep, you've got like a higher pigmentation level. Even with one swipe, you've got a pretty high pigmentation level. Because of that, you are you are left with more of a stain on your lips like you would get from a matte lipstick. Maybe not quite as strong as that, but it definitely does help prolong the longevity of the color on the lips. And when it does kind of fade down to a stain, topping it with some lip balm really will give you this beautiful soft shade. So I think this is an absolutely fantastic lipstick formula. And I personally find this formula to be worth the money for me if, if there's a color that you're going to use frequently. 
So I do have a few comparisons I wanted to go through with these lipsticks. We're gonna start off with some Sisley shades. Now this here is one of the little, um, you know, one of the little mini lipsticks you can get in a gift with purchase, which is how I got this. It's actually one of my favorite shades. So I travel with this one all the time. This is 21 Rose Numia. And they actually, um, this shade is often included with gift with purchases. So it's pretty easy again. I almost always have one of these minis on hand, but you can see how it compares to 200 Rose Zanzibar. The Rose Numia is gonna be just a little bit more neutral and it doesn't have quite as much of that, you know, rosy pink shade in there. It's just a little bit more nude ever so slightly, but they're actually pretty similar colors. Between the two, I would say 200 Rose Zanzibar is slightly warmer. And, um, you know, again, Rose Zanzibar is gonna be a pretty neutral rose. Rose Numia is going to, or Numea, is actually slightly cool. They're both neutral, but this one is gonna lean cool. Another one of my favorites from Sicily, this is 27 Rose Bolchois. And this is just a, another really beautiful rose shade. And you can see this one here is gonna be a little bit warmer. It's a very soft shade and there's a bit more peach in here. So this is more of like your peachy pink shade, but you can see that this one is gonna be a little bit more sheer with one swipe than 200 Rose Zanzibar. Next, this is 15 Beige Manhattan. This is probably my most worn shade from Sicily and it's just a really beautiful, you know, neutral, like nude kind of shade here. And you can see putting this near the beige Beijing, you can see the redness in here, a little bit of that brick red shade really coming through when you pair it with something so nude, so neutral. Then I want to take a look at some of the Sisley Fido Lip Twists. I really love this formula. I have quite a few of these because they were just really easy to apply, put on your lips, keep them in a purse, and they've got this nice pencil point where you know you can easily align your lips with it. The satin formula comes with this kind of point, whereas the matte formula, and then this is the tip on the matte formula. So you can see that they do have a slightly different shape. Let's go ahead and swatch each of these. You know what, let's start with this matte one here. This is 18, and it's just a really beautiful, you know, it's a red, but it's a little bit more of a cherry red. This is gonna be cooler than number 44 Rouge Hollywood. This here is the satin in 26. And you can see this is gonna be a bit more sheer. This is also gonna be cooler. You've got a bit more pink in here and it's a really great soft red. So for people who wanna start wearing red or are looking for you know something that's not quite as, um, not quite as present as a full on satin lip, this is one that I really love to recommend. And I think it's an absolutely great shade. I love the formula of these because they're more like a lip balm lipstick. And then this one here is 25. I'm gonna put this one right here and just kind of put that in between. You know what, let's actually put that up here too. I didn't realize that was gonna be quite so pink there. And so this is 25 in the lip twist compared to 200 Rose Zanzibar. You can see that this lip twist in 25 has a bit more pink, but not as much rose. So rose, when I say rose, you know, it's a little bit dustier, a little bit more of a muted mid-tone, like rosy shade. And when I'm saying pink here, it's a little bit more vibrant, um, you know, has, not really like fuchsia in it, but it's just like a, a brighter pink. Let's take a look at some of the Sisley Fido Rouge shines. So these are their lipstick lip balm hybrids with a high shine finish. This one here is 40 Sheer Cherry. And we're gonna put that one right here. Okay, and you can see that these will be much more sheer going on. This is a really beautiful, soft, neutral red, but you can see this formula in general is going to not be nearly as pigmented. And this shade here is pretty neutral, but it's just much, much lighter overall than Rouge Hollywood. This one here is 12, Sheer Cocoa. 
and you can see that this is going to be a really beautiful brown with a touch of red in there, but this is actually a slightly more vibrant hue, whereas this has a little bit more of that burnt orange brick kind of color mixed into it, which you don't have with the sheer cocoa. The sheer cocoa is really more of a chocolate cocoa kind of shade with a touch of red. This is 41 Sheer Red Love. Let's put that. You can see this is gonna be more like of a fuchsia red. So definitely much more blue toned than Rouge Hollywood. And just for comparison's sake, this one here is 31 Sheer Chili. We're gonna put this one right here next to that. This is gonna be more of your orangey red kind of shade, but you can see there's a lot more of this like hot pink and a little bit of a neon orange mixed in there compared to Rouge Hollywood, which is much more neutral. And last up, 21, this is Sheer Rosewood. This is one of my, this is probably my most used shade in this particular line. You can see that tonally, these are gonna be very similar. The Sheer Rosewood here is gonna be a little bit more muted, a little bit more of a dustier shade. You've got that beautiful high shine finish, and it's definitely gonna be a lot more sheer but the actual like base tones of that rose are going to be fairly similar, um, but it's just the sheerness that is really a huge difference there. And yeah, but tonally they're going to be very similar. And then I also want to take a look at this Hermes lipstick. This is 79 in Rouge et Rabla, and this is one of the newer permanent shades that I still have not seen pop up in the US, but they are available on all of the Hermes sites for like every other country. So hopefully we'll be getting those at some point, but I did want to compare this to Beige Beijing. Uh, now this is a lot more red. Okay, so definitely much more red, but you can see that this has a little bit of orange in there as well. And if you are looking at just those two together, you can see that the Hermes is gonna look much more red orange, but this kind of looks like the same shape just with some brown mixed into it. And this is an Armani Lip Power in 507. Let's go ahead, we're gonna just squeeze that in right here just to see how those compare. And you can see that this, yeah, it's gonna be more pink. This is gonna be a cooler red. So that's gonna be it for my comparisons today. And again, these are all limited edition shades. I think they are absolutely stunning. If any of these shades call to you, I definitely wouldn't hesitate to pick them up. I find the formula to be fantastic. It's a classic formula and you know, definitely one that I don't think Cicely needs to change. So it's really a fantastic, product overall and if it's a color you're going to use a lot i would say that it's worth the money so for my favorites again we're looking at these horizontal swatches here we have 200 rose zanzibar would be my number one followed by 44 rouge hollywood and then last up we have 16 beige beijing and i think this is going to be a great shade for the fall but now that we're heading into spring these two are going to be the ones that I wear the most. However, I definitely see myself reaching for 16 Beige Beijing when it starts to get a little bit cooler out again. It's just, it's such a beautiful shade. So although I have favorites, I have to say I really love all three of the shades. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know which one your favorite is, if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts are on the Sicily formula. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you very soon. So have a great day.